What's up, everybody? It has been a long while since you have seen me in this perspective. It's been a really long time since I've done one of these drawing things. If you guys don't remember, if you weren't here for it because it's been so long, a long time ago, I drew one of my characters that I created in Xenoverse. And I kind of like told the lore, my little nerd lore about the character that I made uh, throughout the video. A lot of people seem to have liked it, but for some reason, I just never did that with my other characters, despite saying that I would. And still to this day, even though it's been almost a year, if not a year already, people still ask me, when are you gonna do the other lore for your characters? I feel like drawing again, and I haven't drawn I honestly don't think I've drawn since that last video. So you would have to see the date whenever I posted it. If you want to see it, I'll put like a video card somewhere so you can go watch it. But I want to start drawing more and I feel like it adds more diversity to the channel. So today I'm going to be drawing Tundra. In the future, I actually want to do like drawing challenges sort of thing, but like a fun, lighthearted sort of thing. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but if you want to see something like that, make sure you hit the like button and comment that down below. So I know that there's a demand for it, you know? But without further ado, let's get this underway gonna be trying to draw a tundra not only is this the first time i've drawn in a long time i'm drawing a freezer race might not be very easy so uh let's see what i can come up with before anybody asks i am self-taught so if it's a little rugged in some places there's imperfections i've taught myself throughout the years how to draw and uh I don't know. Let's 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 see what I can come up with. Tundra is probably the most mysterious of all of my characters, and it's mainly because of when he existed, or I guess how old he is. Tundra existed millions and millions of years ago, preceding even Beerus and the current gods of destruction. At his peak, Tundra was a pharaoh. Naturally, I understand a lot of people will consider a pharaoh being something exclusive to like an Egypt type of thing, but I see it as synonymous with like a king or like an imperialistic ruler or something of that nature. This is before the concept of a god of destruction was even a thing. At this time in history, very, very long ago, there wasn't a god of destruction for every single universe the way you would see it now. Alone, Tundra fulfilled that role, carrying out the duties of what a current day god of destruction would do, but for all of the universes. Due to this, he is considered the very first or the original god of destruction, despite not really being labeled that at the time. Not only is he the original god of destruction, but he's also the first known member of Frieza's race in history, so <laughs> maybe you can call it Tundra's race. No, you're a nerd! Naturally, carrying out the duties of a god of destruction, destroying planets, destroying stars when necessary, led to his name being known throughout all of the universes. Though, to many, he was just referred to as the Pharaoh. It's not completely clear how powerful Tundra is compared to the warriors in today's era, but at the time of his dominance, his power was uncontested. Although Tundra wasn't necessarily evil, he ruled with an iron fist and sometimes took it personal if anybody disagreed with him or stood against him. Although anybody who had the courage to stand against him usually didn't live to tell about it. Despite all of this, there were still many warriors who tried. Labeled as rebels by Tundra, these warriors typically did not agree with the idea of having one omnipresent individual controlling the fate of all of the universes. Therefore, many battles ensued. One after another, rebels were made examples out of by Tundra in an effort to assert his dominance so no mortal would stand against him, to create a culture of fear around all of the universes. Yet despite all of this, no matter how brutal, warriors still rose, rebels still formed alliances, and it wasn't long before an entire army stood against Tundra, not in only one universe, but within all of the universes. Though Tundra was extremely powerful, it wasn't long before he became exhausted. He asserted his dominance over the universe for millions of years up to this point, and he wasn't immune to fatigue. No matter how many planets he destroyed, how many suns burst, there would be a different cluster of rebels that would rise. But Tundra would simply not admit defeat. Eventually, he would come up with an idea. An idea to finally put the armies at bay. An idea that would unequivocally assert his dominance. Tundra finally realized, despite his unparalleled power, he was only one being. He was the only one of his kind. Trying to assert his dominance over multiple universes would be simply impossible. To fight these armies, he would need an army himself. After coming to this conclusion, Tundra would spend the next few decades with the sole purpose of finding a method of multiplying himself into a race of his own. However, this would prove to be his most difficult task yet. After all, Tundra's origins aren't very clear, not even he knew where he truly came from. To simply create more of himself was a daunting task. But like with all things, Tundra did not give up. For over a hundred years, the universes finally experienced peace. 
there was no destruction while Tundra went through his research and experiments. The rebels believed that they had finally won, that they had swayed Tundra from his ways. Some even believed he was dead. Little did they know, however, off in a distant galaxy in seclusion, Tundra had finally discovered a method of creating his own race. However, like with many things, there was a price to pay. To successfully pull off this feat, it would cost an exorbitant amount of power. So much in fact that it would put Tundra in a nearly eternal coma. Tundra was a little hesitant, but despite all of this, he eventually decided it was necessary. He would forfeit his dominance, with the idea in mind that his kin would assert themselves throughout the universes. Eventually they would take over, and rule as he did. Perhaps one of them would have a power similar to his own, rivaling that of even a god. These were all of the hopes of Tundra, as he fell into his eternal coma. Millions and millions of years later, you can see the results of Tundra's actions in beings such as Frieza, Cooler, King Cold, Frost, and yes, all of you motherfuckers in Dragon Ball Zetoverse. I had to include you guys somehow. Not long ago, the ancient warrior Tundra was reawoken by a mysterious being, and now he looks to reattain his true power by battling the miscellaneous warriors of today's era. Will Tundra ever reach his full power? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball D Nut. Alright, there's gonna be some final touches, obviously, I did most of the final touches, but there's a few other things I want to add to this before, uh, I call it finish. But, you get the gist for the most part, this is, uh... This is Tundra. want to know what references I used, the only reference I used was looking at my Xenoverse character, just looking at Tundra. But the pose and everything, obviously I was inspired by like that kind of supernova stance. Anyways, it's the first drawing I've done in a very long time, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I want to do more drawing on this channel, so I might do like a uh, drawing, like kind of just something for fun. Like, I don't know, like I want to be able to draw some some funny things, but I don't know how I'll do it. Uh, I'll figure something out, something fun for you guys to watch. That's if you guys want to see more uh, stuff like this. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Again, my name is Dion. I'm an X on YouTube. Hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. With that, I just have two more words to say.